journey into meditation again started five years ago. And uh, at that time, I was somebody just like a corporate employee who was, uh, I think, suffering from stress and anxiety. It's a corporate game, right? So working in corporate, it's not going to be easy. And being a chartered accountant, uh, the finance um, world, uh, although it looks uh, rosy from outside, you know, being a chartered accountant, but in fact, it is uh, very challenging. It is very stressful. So I was somebody who was going through stress and anxiety quite badly. And this is when the meditation came into my world. And this is just before COVID. So when I, um, so I kind of, you know, because I was suffering from anxiety and uh, stress, I mean, obviously I used to have palpitations, I used to have, you know, anxiety attacks at some point. And because uh, in, I don't know if anybody works in finance or, you know, being a chartered accountant, it is a marathon. It is like one after the other. You have, uh, you know, month ends, quarter ends, year ends, and there's never a time you could actually breathe. So this is what is was happening in my life. And this is when uh, doctors told me, maybe you should take some antidepressants or something to really, you know, kind of calm your mind. But I would never believed in that. And this is when meditation came into my life. And this is when I saw the real bliss. You know, I was somebody uh, suffering from a corporate burnout who went from burnout to bliss through meditation. And this is when I started delving more into meditation. I've done um, many, many sessions, you know, um, I think through PMC, uh, English, Telugu. I think I did um, Inner Journey. There was a beautiful program that was conducted, I think, 30 or 40 days. I think I did three rounds of the Inner Journey program that actually took place around midnight of a time because I live in the UK. But I never uh, bothered about the timings, but I really wanted to learn more. There was a lot of fire in me. There's a lot of curiosity. So this is when I started. So I started learning from each and every master. I started reading a lot of books because Patriji always advocates a lot about reading books. So this is when I started uh, reading a lot of books and I gained a lot of knowledge. So I was curious to know more. And this is when uh, I kind of, you know, with this knowledge, I started learning from many, many masters across the world. And again, working with many scientists directly, uh, I think one great um, inspiration for me is Dr. Bruce Lipton. Uh, and, you know, his knowledge has truly has given me a sort of an awakening. And uh, and then Dr. Joe Dispenza, Greg Braden, Dr. David Hamilton, Dr. Shamini Jain, and many more scientists um, this way. So this is when I've decided that, you know, again, I, I kind of discovered my life purpose only through meditation and the time has come. And then I said, okay, it's now high time. I'll leave my corporate world and start teaching what I've learned from um, various scientists across the globe. So, you know, the, because I come from the finance world and I've seen many people nowadays, uh, I mean, it's been always there, but, you know, many people suffer from stress and anxiety, especially in the corporate world. So this is where I thought I could really help many people come out of. And because of that, they go into depression. I see many people facing depression, um, nowadays and you see young children more often facing depression anxiety stress so this is like a pandemic now so this is why i've chosen to leave my corporate world and completely come into spirituality mm -hmm.